Before I give you the acronym, I want to show you some results from a survey that we took about co coaching. And this is a worldwide survey. People from Italy, people from South America and Brazil, people from Poland, uh, people from South Africa, Australia, the United Kingdom, they all answered this. So this is not just North America, which means Canada and the United States, even Mexico, all right? So let's look at the first result. Have you ever coached someone on your topic of expertise? That was the first uh, poll. 95% said yes, 5% said no. So the goal there is coaching on your topic of expertise. 95% said yes in our poll and 5% said no. What about you? If you're watching this right now, type in yes or no, okay? Have you ever coached someone on your topic of expertise? The next question is, have you ever been coached? Has someone coached you on your topic of expertise? And let me tell you, if you're not coached on your topic of expertise, you really haven't earned the right to coach on your expertise. Now, if you and I are strangers, I don't mean to offend you, but it's true whether you believe it or not. It's important to get coached on the topic that you're coaching so you can further the lineage of knowledge and wisdom. Well, 21% said no. They have never been coached on their topic of expertise. That's troubling, okay, because 95% of the same people said, yeah, they do coach on their topic, right? And then 79% said yes. So we have an 80-20 uh, variance there. And then the final question I asked was multiple choice. And it's which of these reasons best describes, best describes why you believe coaching is a vital to high achievement. That's what coaching is. It's for higher achievement, getting from one level to another level. Okay, here are the choices I gave. Coaches identify your blind spots. So blind spots is the first reason. Number two, coaches identify where you're stuck. Identify, that's the coach's job. Not solve, identify. And then next, coaches identify your key strengths. That's specific and concrete. And the final choice is coaches identify your key weaknesses. What you do that you feel weak. And here are the results. Coaches identify your blind spots. 25%, one quarter of the people said yes. Coaches identify where you're stuck. 38% said yes. And I was very, very um, impressed and delighted that that happened because that's why I coach, to get people unstuck because movement is life. Nothing happens until something moves. 38% of the people, over a third said uh, because they're identifying where they're stuck. The next choice was identifying your key uh, strengths. That's 25%, one quarter. And this was surprising. Only 13% said that they feel the best reason why to get coaches to identify weaknesses. Really interesting. Um, I don't know what that may mean, but if you would vote, then we can add you to the poll. Now, here is the acronym I want you to remember. I made it up. It's called COACH, and you just saw it. Right? These are the practices, five practices, communication, objectivity, accountability, caring, and honesty. I think that's cool, okay? But maybe I'm a legend in my own mind. Again, if we've never met, I have no idea how you're responding, but this is how you catch the spirit of coaching. Coaching has a spirit. There, there's like a sorority fraternity, a movement of coaching. Coaches kind of know each other. They go into a room and they nod. Because they know. They know what it means to get coached. They know what it means to coach. So here you go. Coach, communication, objectivity, accountability, caring, and honesty. Those are the five practices. You can go back and watch the replay to get it. You can take a picture of it. And the key point is the fastest way to become a world-class coach is to get coached by a world-class coach. Experience is not the best teacher. Experience is the only teacher. Another key point, the purpose of coaching is to achieve higher achievement. I'm going to put an underline under higher because it's to get you from one level to the next. So higher achievement is the reason. I'm even going to put it in red. Higher achievement is the purpose for coaching. So if you want to stay where you are and you think that's working for you, then don't get coached. But if you don't look, you don't like your paycheck or the, the conditions in your life, then it's time to get coached on the topic that you need most coaching on because you don't have objectivity of your own life. My name is Alex Mondosian, and those are the five coaching practices that lead to wild success. 
my hope for you, whether you consider yourself a guru, a sensei, a lama, a mentor, a maestro, a rabbi, whatever you consider yourself or whatever you are, my hope is that our paths cross again often and that it's your time to get coached on the topic of expertise that you coach on. And if you don't coach on it, start because life is short. All good wishes.